Gabriel, the Arsenal defender, fought off robbers armed with a baseball bat. The Metropolitan Police have released footage of the August incident, in which Gabriel fought off a man armed with a baseball bat. The attacker last month was jailed for five years over one count of robbery and one of possessing an offensive weapon. It said that the Arsenal footballer fought off two men attempting to steal his car from his North London home in August as the Arsenal defender became the latest Premier League footballer to be targeted by armed attacks. The Metropolitan Police have released footage of the incident in which the footballer was with a friend and fought off a man armed with a baseball bat. The attacker was last month jailed and he goes by the name of Mr Moose. A very silly error to make is leaving something behind at a scene you just committed an offence at. And he left behind his hat, which actually had his DNA on it, so it was easy to convict him. The footage literally just shows Moose and his accomplice confronting the footballer in his garage before the Arsenal centre back handed over his watch and car keys. There was also a second accomplice who was not shown on camera, but the footage then showed Moose lunging at Gabriel, who defended himself and grabbed the attacker. He then fled with his accomplices that were off camera. It said that Moose's hat came off during the confrontation, providing the police with the DNA that enabled them to link him to the robbery. But neither of Moose's accomplices have been caught yet. Asked about the incident at a press conference on Wednesday, the Arsenal manager praised his players' bravery. Obviously, it's, uh, it's not a nice thing to go through when you have family involved and, uh, and they are trying to access your own house. Um, Gabby showed a lot of character. You see the reaction that he had straight away. Credit to the boy. Um, and after that, he was fine. Obviously, he was shocked. Uh, obviously, there are a few things that he wanted to change in his life to try to prevent those things happening. And, and the club gave him all the support that um, he was needed to try to, to forget about this and the situation, learn from it and, and move on. Two Arsenal players were also run up on not too long ago. Around a year ago, I covered it on this channel where people on motorbikes pulled up and tried to get their car and they were fought off as well, didn't actually get anywhere and they were armed with even more serious weapons. Obviously, footballers get paid very well, so oftentimes they do get targeted, but most of them actually stick up for themselves and don't have it, despite earning the kind of money literally to replace a car that next week. That is it for this video guys, comment below your thoughts on the situation, subscribe to the channel with that notification bell included if you're new, and I'll see you on my next one, peace out. For more updates like this, you guys can follow me on my Instagram, I keep you posted on stories like this, and any other stuff that comes out about the story, like new footage or anything else.